Art Deco, out of the closet with the Deco Guys. Today, Herb and John take us to Renninger's Antique Fair as they search for Art Deco items. We'll also learn some special secrets to refinishing without losing that antique charm. And we'll see how Art Deco pieces can fit in with a country design motif. Now, from the international capital of impeccable taste, New Hope, Pennsylvania, here are the Deco Guys. Hi, I'm Herb Millman. And I'm John DeWire. And we're, we're the Deco, Deco Guys. Guys. Welcome to Art Deco Out of the Closet with the Deco Guys. Today, we're going to take you on a very special tour of a friend's house, Andrew Zaritas, who has Art Deco from the 1920s, 30s, and 40s, and he blends it with 1950s and 1960s. If you're decorating or you're a collector, it's great to have one or more of the three T's. By the three T's, I mean to have talent, to be, have taste, or to be terribly rich. Now, if you're terribly rich, you probably can buy the talent and taste. Andy's a person who has talent and taste. He's brought things together, uh, and, and he's been very, very creative in bringing them together, and we're going to take a journey through his house. I think you're really going to like this tour, so let's get started. Well, this is known as a naughty bronze, and uh, generally speaking, uh, it was uh, during the Victorian times they had naughty bronzes, but this one's from the, again, the early to mid-20s. And it's on a hinge basis here where her dress lifts up, and there she is, she's naked. I'm telling you, when you walk down an aisle, our eyes just go back and forth to, to look for the deco. It's like radar. Sometimes when we are walking down an aisle, we can go down an aisle like in, a, in a, almost a mini second because there's, if there's nothing there, we just, we just shoot right down. Through. John, why don't you give a little explanation on the uh, teapots? Well, the teapots, we have uh, several different teapots here. Where are they from, John? Uh, well, I'm glad you asked, Herbert. Uh, they're from England. We got these from our uh, picker uh, from England. Now, these have little cozies on them. And a tea cozy keeps the tea hot. While you're having tea, I guess, in England, around 4 o'clock, you can have your tea. You can keep it warm by having the tea cozy over it. If you have overuse on your teapot, uh, sometimes what happens is the, um, the spout uh, gets some damage. So there's a small rubber at the end of the spout. A rubber on your spout uh, can always help you out. It couldn't hurt. It couldn't hurt. That's okay. right. We believe in safety. This chandelier is phenomenal. The shades were made by Consolidated Glass Company back in the early 30s. They specialized in glass slip shades and vases. Mm -hmm. And the detail on these shades are unbelievable. The frame is constructed of white metal, which has a tremendous amount of detail. As you can see, it has all of the original dangles underneath each light post, mm -hmm. as well as the center. And if you really like this one, I'll give you a good price. And I do like this one. And it's from a ship, because you can see the galley around out of brass, or bronze here. Do you know what ship they came from? Well, I was hoping the Titanic, but it's a little Probably the good ship really. lollipop. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> this is another fun piece here. And Andrew, what can you tell us about this? It's actually a metal piece, what they call spelter, and ivorine. So it's not a bronze and ivory piece, but it was made in the style of it. And it's a very Art Deco um, lines to it. She's actually circular. Her whole hat, if you turn that around, her hat actually goes in a circle. And the dress does also. It's a, it's a really lovely piece. It has a, again, it's an ashtray. Now this booth over here has got a lot of modern pieces. Some go back to the 1930s, and others, like the sofa, go back to the 1950s. We bought a few tables, uh, smoking stands, and we bought some accessories here earlier today. But I'd like to show you some of the pieces that I'm interested in and that I'm still thinking about. Well, we've already bought the smoking stand and this great table that we're going to send off to our refinisher, but it's got great lines to it, and we have to do some research on it. We're thinking about this vanity, a headboard, footboard, and uh, chair, and mirror. Um, that's about a 1930s piece. This was custom made, and we're just still thinking about it because we have a lot of vendors to see. Now we're going to talk about the food chain. Now by the food chain, I'm not talking about no McDonald's, uh-uh. I'm talking to you about where you're going to be getting your merchandise. And at the high end of the food chain, it's talking about Go well, into a retail store. Right. But, but in between that, uh, uh, that really high-end retail store, there also are those mom-and-pop stores where you can get pretty good deals. That's true. And that's where we sort of feel that we fit in. We're sort of mom-and-pop, and yet we're or pop-and-pop. Or mom-and-pop. But go ahead. <laughs> I'm going to get you. I uh, wish you could. I think some of the best uh, mom-and-pop stores are those 
where uh, it's a specialty store because these are people who are experts in a certain field. Remember that table we recently bought on that buying trip? It was a mess. Well, we gave it to our furniture restorer, Denny Erickson, and look what he's done. Denny, what did you do to make this table perfect? Uh, you try to keep the you know existing finish as much as possible. It's not a brand new table, it never will be a brand new table. It gives it the character, there's still some gouges that were left in it. Uh, the base, the chrome base, was just a matter of cleaning. Uh, it's pretty much uh, bringing this back was just a lot of elbow grease. The teapots range anywhere from $65 to $110, but this is very unusual, which is the creamer and sugar. Right, you probably remember this from your girlhood. Uh, <laughs> oh, kidding. I'll get you later. <laughs> Only kidding. Only kidding. The, the, these are very, very cute. Herb, I have a question for you. Yes. Do you know who Romaine de Tiertoff is? No. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people don't. Romaine de Tiertoff is the real name of Erte. Okay. Romaine de Tiertoff was born in 1892. When he was a little boy, his father wanted him to go into the military. But even at the age of five, he was designing costumes. He did sketches even then, which just shows how fabulous Erte was. And this one I really like. It comes out like the June Taylor dancers. That's what John always says every time we demonstrate them. Which probably ages me, and if you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, if you've made it this far, we'd like to thank you for watching excerpts from Art Deco out of the closet with the Deco guys. We hope you enjoyed the special style of Herb and John as they present their wealth of knowledge about the fascinating subject of Art Deco and collectibles. For more information, please contact Full Tilt Productions at 215-582-4744.